it is natural for us to respect people who are more gifted than us, who have achieved more, who are higher up in the social ladder. The God of the Bible identifies with the poor and the marginalized, and we see this even in Jesus' incarnation. Think about his encounter with the Samaritan woman. She was surprised that he, being a Jew, asked her for a drink. His disciples returned and they were surprised that he was talking to a woman. You know, Jesus conveniently bypassed those social barriers. The fact that he was a Jew and she was a Samaritan. The fact that he was a male and she was a female in a patriarchal society. And to make matters worse, she was an immoral woman. She had five husbands and the man that she was living with was not a husband. Jesus spoke to her and she recognized that he was the Messiah. And you know, in the New Testament, she is the first recorded evangelist as she draws the whole village to the knowledge of the Messiah. The God of the Bible moves people who are marginalized into the mainstream. Think about his encounter with the blind beggar. Jesus was on his way from Jericho to Jerusalem. And someone tells this man Bartimaeus that Jesus is on the way. So he cries out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the people around are silencing him, but he cries out all the more louder. It's important to know that Jesus heard him and Jesus sent for him. So he comes to Jesus and rather than assuming what this man's need was, Jesus gave him the dignity of choice. He asked him, what do you want me to do? And that man asked for sight and that day he was able to see. You know, that was not the only time Jesus asked somebody, what do you want me to do? Dear friend, what would be your response to that question? And God asks, what do you want me to do for you? God expects us to be responsible because we have an amazing offer, a God who is approachable in the name of Jesus and he reaches out to us. May our lives be a blessing as we proclaim the goodness that comes from this God.